Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel and just like my last couple of videos, I don't have much on my face right now. So I'm going to share with you today how to get some free products because I got some products sent to me for free and I'm also going to be sharing my first impressions on some super affordable drugstore makeup. So I got these products from CrowdTap, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like Influencer and if you don't know what that is, we'll back up. You go, you sync it to usually your Facebook, um, you answer some polls, you answer some questions, whatever, share some stuff on your social media, and from time to time, little sample things will pop up and you click it and you fill out a survey, you put in your address, and if you're a good fit, they send you free things. I've gotten food, I've gotten makeup, I've gotten skincare, shampoo, deodorant, like all kinds of stuff. It's not strictly beauty, but what I have today is, so I'm excited to share it because my last few have been hair care and food, and now I finally have one I can share with y'all. So what I got was a kit from Revlon, and it has got four of their products. And we're going to use them in order and see how they perform, and I'm going to come back, it's kind of late in the day, but I'm going to come back in a few hours to show y'all how they've held up just to my like at home chilling with the kids not doing anything too strenuous so we're gonna start out I already have on my foundation and my bronzer and we're just gonna go in with this Revlon photo ready concealer I don't usually use stick concealers but I wanted to try it for this video so I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we're just gonna go ahead and if this is not flow proofed it is not we're going to go into this and we are just going to see one if this is a good color match. They gave me light pale so if that's not a good color match I really need to reevaluate my life and we're just going to put it under here and I guess just kind of make our little triangles like we do with everything else and it is very thick but it does look like it's at least a good Color, and I'm going to cover up. I have some little breakouts going on right in here. And we're going to see how it covers those up and what kind of coverage we get out of this. So I'm going to speed y'all up through this. Okay, so that is not the best coverage in the world. You can still see my circles a little bit through here, but it's not bad. It definitely worked better with a beauty blender than it did with this oval brush. And those are the two things I usually use. <clears throat> so the next thing I have here is their Revlon Photo Ready, it's like a translucent powder. <clears throat> and I know for sure this is not a new product. Like I remember using this in like junior high this was my thing it comes with this little brush we're not using that because i know that's not gonna work we're gonna use just a big powder brush with it and go ahead and set ooh, comes off a lot set our concealer and see if that prevents creasing and i'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face too just to be sure I don't have any issues with that. Okay, <clears throat> then I got their Revlon Photo Ready Sunlit Dream Highlighting Palette. And I've never used this, but I did open it and kind of baby swatch it a little. Here are the colors. And this looks like it's going to be really subtle. I'm going to give you all a few swatches just on my fingers here and this is what they look like but when you swatch them out they kind of disappear so this is going to be a really subtle highlight which is okay because some people really like that but since I'm so fair I'm going to go into this white shade and just pop that on my cheeks and that's actually a little more than I expected and it's blending in good that was just one pass and this is the brush that I always use for highlighting so that's 
definitely better than I expected. So this white shade here is a go. I guess these are pretty, pretty good. Definitely not bad for a drugstore highlighter. I can jam with that. So the last thing I've got is this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer. It says 003. I don't know if that's a shade. I guess so. Um, this one is Florence Proof. I can feel it. So I'm just going to break the package. And this is one of those that you have to like spin the bottom to get it out. So we're going to spin. We're going to spin some more. Off. Yeah, I did. Okay, I think I... No, I still don't see products, y'all. This is ridiculous. Ooh. And now that I have product out, I actually got way too much. So I'm just going to get this on my finger and just like dab this onto my eyelid. Y'all be quiet. Hold on. And I got way too much. So I'm just going to put this through here. And I'm going to set it with that translucent powder in just a second. And see how this works. Ooh. This gets out of control super easy. It is very liquidy. And honestly, kind of hard to work with. But it does feel like it might actually do a little something. So we're going to see. And we're just going to set some translucent powder on top of this right like that I gotta end my eyelashes Ooh. okay <clears throat> so that's all four products and now I'm gonna go ahead and sneak off here and do my eyes real quick come back let you see how the eyeshadow laid down and then come back again so that y'all can get just a kind of end of the night view of how all of this held up so I'll be back in one second you guys okay so I went ahead and finished up my face and that eyeshadow laid down pretty good um I used Crepe Fine's eyeshadow and then Juvia's on the lid I got some Juvia's Place eyeshadow in today that I wanted to try out <clears throat> and it looks like everything's laying down pretty good it's only been like an hour so I haven't had time to really see if it's going to crease or anything yet but, so far so good, I guess. Here is the eye look up close. I tried to do a little more toned down today. I have a conference call this evening. I'm so excited. Um, so I tried to tell my makeup down a little bit and not go so crazy. So if y'all want some tutorials of looks more like this that are a little calmer, that you can kind of wear out to work or whatever, let me know. I can do some of these too. I just feel like they're kind of boring when I film them, but I can definitely do some like soft glam tutorials and stuff like that. But we are going to be back in just a little bit with my end of the day and how everything played out. I'm going to come back in about five hours and tell y'all how this stayed on and how well it wore. So I will see y'all in just a minute. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been, we're going to go with a few hours. Um, so far so good. I'm going to do a quick run through on these products and tell you what I think. So, where's my other one? Okay, uh, we used this concealer first. The coverage is okay. Like, I mean I don't have really obvious dark circles and it didn't crease too bad so this is all right this is a good affordable option I'm not picking it over my shape tape but you know whatever uh, then this powder <clears throat> I have a hard time judging these but my eyes haven't creased my face is still pretty well set I'm gonna go with this is okay which I used to love this back in the day so I thought it would be fine this eye primer 
My eyeshadow laid down really good. It's a little bit patchy, but this is a new eyeshadow on my lid, so it could be that. But this worked all right, too. Uh, definitely still going to reach for my MAC Paint Pot, probably, but this is a pretty good product. And then this little palette here. I had my doubts, but I can still see my highlight when the light hits it actually a lot prettier than I expected and worked way better than I thought it would so that I will be reaching for and probably traveling with it um yeah so those are the products I'd say these Revlon products are definitely a hit I don't do drugstore makeup all that often so I was pretty excited to get this in the mail so I could show it to y'all so that is it for today's video my only announcement is be sure that you have entered my giveaway because we are so close to a thousand it's not even funny so be sure you get in on that giveaway before it's over and I will leave that link down there and I guess that's it for today's video I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all on Saturday bye you guys